The Roaring Twenties was an era of vaudeville, flappers, speakeasies, and rollicking fun. These decadent times were especially good for the Macy's department store. By 1924, Macy's had expanded to cover an entire city block, from Broadway and Herald Square all the way to 7th Avenue. The store just expanded to become the world's largest store. They wanted to do something to celebrate. It was Thanksgiving. What could we do? And of course, the idea of a parade came about. Just two weeks before Thanksgiving, Macy's president, Herbert Strauss, announced that New York would be treated to a holiday event like nothing the city had seen before. The original parade route began on 145th Street and Convent Avenue in Harlem and was nearly three times as long as it is today. And it was only two blocks long, that first parade. It wasn't a very long parade, but it went for six miles. It went, you know, all over the place. It took a lot of right turns, left turns, winding its way down to the Macy's store in Herald Square, where it still ends today. By the time the parade reached Herald Square, it had grown considerably in size. Spectators joined in, marching boisterously behind St. Nick, instead of watching from the sidelines. Estimates as to how many people saw the first parade differ. Macy's claimed a million, one of the newspapers claimed 250,000. It doesn't matter. Uh, the salient point is that the first parade was a smashing success. Macy's announced within a week uh, that the whole city should set aside Thanksgiving morning 1925 because the parade would be back. As the parade's popularity grew, so did television interest. Macy's then entered into a contract with NBC TV. I wanted to make the picture as exciting as it might be to someone who was standing there, but transmit that to someone looking at it in Los Angeles or in Chicago so that they got the feel of the parade. In an effort to make the parade more TV friendly, the lengthy six and a half mile route was trimmed down to a suitable two and a half miles. The balloons became ever more the stars of the parade and the emblem and the symbol of the parade because these balloons look great on TV. So I mean, Underdog was a perfectly fine little cartoon, but as a balloon, it was a superstar. What started out as a little march down Broadway has become an American institution. It's still Macy's gift to the city and to the world, but for many people, it's bigger than any department store. I would only hope that everyone would get to see the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in person at least once in their life. It's just an unbelievable experience.